Well, Colleen ISD is trying to educate local voters on why they need a more than $400 million school bond, but no one's really showing up to the meetings. Channel 6 News reporter Andrew Moore is live at the second bond meeting tonight at Colleen High School. Andrew, how's the turnout tonight? Hey guys, it looks like there are maybe three people who, ooh, four people, we just had another person pop in here, uh, who are not staff who are at this meeting tonight, but the district says, you know, in a district of 44,000 kids, they hope that a lot more parents are going to turn out because this bond is important. Now, three of the district's high schools are using portable classrooms and Harker Heights High School is 300 students over capacity. A new high school near the police department on stagecoach would fix that. Many schools in the district also lack electronic security doors at the entrance. The bond would pay for those too. But the bond would also mean a $15 a month increase in property taxes for the average Colleen home. While school staff are no longer allowed to advocate for or against the bond, school board president Corbett Lawler says the money is critical for the district's future. If we don't uh, pass this bond election, we're going to be putting kids in some uh, very difficult situation. We're going to be putting them in poor setting for for instruction and we're going to be uh, not accommodating the handicapped as, as well as we should. And, and the meeting is already underway behind me. They say they're going to go for at least around 30 minutes if you still want to uh, try to make the trip out here. If not, there are going to be three other meetings. The next one is tomorrow at 6 o'clock at the KISD Career Center. Doug and Leslie. All right, Andrew, thank you very much.